hey guys welcome back to our channel and we hope everyone is um feeling quite blessed today um today we are going to prepare the simple chicken soup, foot soup chicken foot soup yes. uh, my mom finished it there mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna let her say what is in this bowl right here and she will be showing you step by step how she prepare her chicken foot soup today mm -hmm. carry on mom mm -hmm. Anyway, as you can see, pumpkin, this pumpkin is very pretty. It's like curry pumpkin because oh. it is so pretty and you have the color of curry. Okay. Some nice chicken foot here. Okay. Clean them up. Take off the liquid toe and so forth. Which obviously yes. and you guys can see right mm -hmm. here. Okay. Yeah. And as you can see, my corn. This is two corn. Yeah. And I have my pot over there already with some I'll pimento seeds. I'll take you guys seed. over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some pimento seeds. So I'm just going to put this in the pot and just make it stay there and go and cook mm -hmm. all together because the, the corn is a little bit, you know, it takes time to cook. Yeah, because it's chicken hard. Chicken food as mm -hmm. well takes time to cook. Mm -hmm. And with the pumpkin, so I want everything to blend in and so forth. And yeah. then we show them step by step. Okay. Yeah? Perfect. Stay tuned, guys, and we'll show you how we prepare this simple soup recipe today. So, guys, here we are. We're just adding in our chicken foot, our um, pumpkin, and also our corn. As mommy said, all of these she wants to cook up nice together first, and then she will show you um, how she proceeds from there. Because you want to make sure that your chicken foot um, is cooked so it's tender, and, and, and also your corn as well. So all of these she wants to marinate all together in the spot. She's going to cover it out and allow to cook and then you will show them in a moment yeah. the next step and yeah. her um you know like her seasoning and things like that she, she add into her soup hey pot. guys welcome back to the next step of our soup pot and this is exactly what we want to achieve um the fact that our pumpkin is all boiled out and into the water and amongst the corn and also the chicken food of course this is not finished cooking or even close to finished cooking but we just wanted to show you how when you combine everything together the look that you will get stay tuned guys so guys look at how beautiful this pot is at the moment you can see that the pumpkin is completely boiled out into this water okay and that's exactly what we wanted and the, it's just amazing and to be honest with you if you don't be careful you don't even have to add any sort of cut noodle soup or anything like that isn't it mommy but anyway we'll still add that into the end now we're just gonna add some um Chinese. some of our turnips some carrots and some chocho into this pot okay and just give that a stir around with the spoon right there we're just gonna add some hot water because obviously the pot needs a little bit more water because remember you're cooking soup so you're supposed to have you know a lot of liquid there and yeah we, then we're just going to allow these all to cook in nicely as well okay stay tuned guys and we will show you how we cook our chicken foot soup today so guys um the next step is we're going to add our um potato in our pot now i also want you guys um if you just give them a little prayer you notice before the chicken foot they were really stiff but as you can see they're a little bit more softer and way softer anyway so you will know by that way that your chicken foot is now tender enough they're not stiff out in the pot anymore or anything like that so obviously you need to make sure that you cook your chicken food until it becomes soft enough okay and not too soft either where it's all mashed out into your pot just just the way that it is right there so what we're gonna do now my mom is just gonna make up some little roll up spinners and then she will add that into the pot um, she won't be showing how she does that it's just like you know obviously flour and she just rolled them up in her hand and she will just drop them into the pot but obviously we also will be adding other things as well which we will show you and um yeah i will say how long this has been on the fire for about an hour yeah we don't really check the timing to be honest like my mom said um but yeah this is going to be an amazing little soup chicken foot pot for us today so obviously if you want to try to follow this step you can do that um by the very beginning of the video of how we started our pot stay tuned guys we'll come up next with more um little things i mean i did say that my mom wasn't going to show 
about how she's gonna make her spinach but then she changed her mind so I just want to give you guys a little insight of how she does it okay sorry I need to and then what she does she puts it into the pot so like that size I just moved the camera away from her so she have a lot more flexibility in just rolling her the spinners and she will add it into the pot just like this and if you want to have smaller or larger it's totally up to you if you want to make like the round dumplings it's totally up to you okay guys so that's just an idea of what we were talking about earlier. So guys, now we have all the spinners inside of this pot, our chocho, turnip, carrots, and all of that that you see before and our corn. We're just gonna allow these now to cook for the next, not checking time properly, but how long you would you say? 10 minutes or so or maybe a little bit more however we will also show you how we season our pot but guys just so you know that you will always have to try to use your own discretion when you're on your stove when you're on your own pot because you're checking it constantly so you know exactly how far it reaches and things like that okay so obviously just use your own little measurement there okay but we will always we will obviously show you how we season our pot in the final stage to you know just get that nice chicken foot flavor okay guys so next we're gonna add in our ground season scotch bonnet pepper thyme and some um beat up scallion which you can see right there you can add in a bit of butter yep and my mom is just sprinkling a little bit of black pepper right there and obviously she's adding in some um cock noodle soup and i mean even though she did start it off with the pumpkin um the grandpa vision like pumpkin um at the beginning she just added just um some pumpkin seasoning as well okay well look at that it's amazing guys give that a stir salt in it. yeah mm -hmm. So my mom is gonna add a little bit of salt and now. Because of the noodle, I'm just going to make it cook for a while and mm. test it out. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then we know how much salt should I put in it. Okay, yes. Yeah. So remember guys that you're gonna taste your pot just to see how it is um how how salty or how fresh it is or whatever. So you will know how to obviously balance out your flavor, okay? So guys, look at this amazing chicken foot soup pot. Now guys, you will see we have a whole green pepper, scotch bonnet pepper there. And we didn't burst that one and we don't want it either because that one is there to add flavor to this pot. However, because we tend to like a little bit of spice even to our soup, you will see a red scotch bonnet pepper right there that we cut. <laughs> but it is amazing i've tasted it and this doesn't have any what you see we added that is exactly what is there off camera nothing extra was added no other powder season nothing at all was added to this pot and this is exactly how you want to start off your cooking and it's not necessary to add certain things um to your pot to be honest with you for it to have any taste because what we've added is perfectly fine and it's it tastes amazing um to be honest with you now guys we're just going to um obviously conclude this video and um we can show you as well when we um share it out in our bowl but we just want to say thank you very much for taking the time out to watch from start to finish sometimes the videos can be long but obviously they're lengthy for a reason and it is going to quite a few details and for those of who, those of you already um subscribe to our channel and share and help to you know show some love we really appreciate all of you your blessing and um yeah just feel free to share it around to your friends and your family and um we just want to continue to um to, to, to show you um, from our kitchen basically um, what we do you know um, my mom is quite shy I'm trying to get her to talk a little bit more however she's standing beside me and she she really enjoys cooking it's her passion it's what she loves to do she gives her her all and her love so 
um, if you want to follow her steps and how she cooks go ahead feel free to do so um, once again thank you for your love and and we're just here um, because we really want to and because we love it um, so we're actually just on a mission of positivity so if you can continue to stay positive that will be great because it does help to motivate each other so yeah feel free to like and comment and share and you can follow us on instagram at joan home cook meal stay blessed and we hope you enjoy our soup